Artificial intelligence. It trawls through data faster than humans can. And it learns, making suggestions our brains might not have considered. So AI has the potential to make any industry smarter, but here in the Netherlands, it's being used to sniff out something I am especially keen to explore. More than 10 million data points are being used to try to create any person's unique, personalized perfume. First up, some questions in the Centronics app. If you could be somewhere else right now, where would that be? Hmm, ooh, by the ocean. Some directly related to perfume, but others, not so much. We cast a pretty wide net of questions because in the long run, we're also a bit of a science adventure and project to really understand, you know, why is it that we like what we like? The AI generates three scent recipes using algorithms that scan the data in different ways. I named mine after my daughter, Zena. Kitty, our producer, and click, obviously. With some automated magic, ingredients are pumped out on demand. It is a complicated craft. And so, you know, technology is sort of giving you a little push to get started. My mini perfumes are made in minutes. I was pretty impressed with the essence of Xena. Mm. Oh, I really like it. And my second scent was a pleasant surprise. Here's Kitty. Ooh, my gosh, that's so different. Very rich and deep and woody. And now I'm going to hand you over Click. So this is the first ever BBC Click perfume. This is not nice. It's sophisticated, like the Click team, mm -hmm. but I, I wouldn't buy this. Two out of three isn't bad, though. The app asks for feedback to improve and 40,000 people have already used the machine. Will the AI learn over time and get smarter and be more likely to give three bottles that I love? That all three. That is the ambition to ultimately one day not even have to give you three. Of course, I thought I could outsmart the AI by tweaking the formula of my favorite scent. You know, you prefer the other I prefer the other <laughs> I would have thought that by adding what I thought my preferences were, it would enhance the scent. But actually, I prefer the original. So for now, I think when it comes to perfume, I am prepared to put my preferences in the hands of AI. Away from the shop floor, I wonder, could this system really dent the $40 billion perfume industry? Hi, how are you? This is where we really build the machines. So this is basically giving you the possibility really to dive in deep. And it has over 200, uh, 10 to 20 ingredients. You know, the urban legend is 700 people are deciding for 7 billion people how the world smells. So by developing their own system that cuts costs and sits away from the beauty aisle, the team are opening up to new audiences and genders. This is our next thing that we're going to do. If people do it online, then they can follow it uh, with cameras on a machine. But the machine has some way to go to understand the eclectic global demand. When it's really geographically far apart, then the system has to retrain. It develops new preferences for certain, in certain areas. And so that's one of the reasons actually really why we're traveling around to get more input from different people, totally different cultures. This intelligence may be artificial, but it does appear to have real power to recognize and interpret the essence of you.